Hello traders and welcome to the Stock Goodies Chart School. The MACD is one of the most commonly used indicators and it's special because it brings together momentum and trend in one indicator. The standard setting for the MACD is the difference between the 12 and 26 period exponential moving averages. So let's go ahead and load it up since it is based on the 12 and 26 EMAs. Let's go ahead and load those up first so you can get an idea on what the MACD is based on. So we're loading up the 12 and the 26 EMAs and then on indicators down below you want to click on the MACD and it is 1226 for the EMAs and the signal line is set at the 9 period. Okay, So up here we have the blue 12 exponential moving average, the red 26 exponential moving average. It's comprised of three parts the black MACD, the red signal line, and the blue histogram. Now let's take a look at the primary and secondary signals that the MACD can give. First of all, the primary signal happens when the 12 exponential moving average crosses down through the 26 exponential moving average. When that happens, the MACD or black line will cross down through the center line. That is bearish. Here is a case of a bullish crossover from below the center line where the MACD starts an uptrend and then crosses up through the center line. And in that case, the blue 12 exponential moving average is crossing up through the red 26 exponential moving average. Okay, those are your primary signals. Now I think they happen a little late because they are based, the MACD is based on two exponential moving averages. And even though they are faster than simple moving averages, these crossovers can happen late in my opinion. So I use the MACD crossing through the signal line. Okay, Right here the MACD is above the signal line, crosses down through it. Not a whole lot happens. Okay, But the next time the MACD, the black line is above the red signal line and crosses down through it, it happens right about there. And that is the beginning of a, of a downtrend. So if you are in this trade and it breaks out to new highs, and you can tell it's been up for 10 days in a row and it, you might get a pullback. You might want to lock in profits here when the MACD crosses down through the signal line. Okay, here are two. Here's another example of that. Stock had a huge run from about $8 to 14 Up 10 days out of 12 it looks like, or 10 days out of 13. And that's really quite steep, so you know that a pullback is probably going to come. Okay, so right here. The MACD is above the signal line and crosses down through it. That's telling you that the run has lost momentum. Okay, And as you can see, it fell. MACD just fell like a rock. There is the, the primary signal when it crosses down through the center line, which comes late, very late. So if you had exited a trade, a good, nice, bullish trade, after a huge run, when the MACD crosses down through the signal line, that's a good one. Now the opposite happens right here, where the MACD drops below the signal line and crosses up through it right here. Move it a little bit to the right. There we go. Okay, MACD below this red signal crosses up through it. That's a bullish signal. The histogram was below the center line or zero and crossed up through it at the same time that the MACD crossed up to the signal line. So that's bullish. Okay, I don't really see any others on this particular chart. So the primary is when the MACD crosses down through the center line or up through the center line. 
The secondaries are when the MECD crosses down through the signal line or up through the signal line, or in this case, again, down through the signal line. Now let's talk for a moment about the histogram because even though the MACD can be a lagging indicator because it is based on moving averages, even if they are exponential and a little faster than simple moving averages, it, it is still a lagging indicator. So the way I use the histogram, I call it the headlights around the corner, which gives you a brief glimpse of what may be about to happen. Okay, let's take a look at after this huge fall right here. Okay, the stock basically runs sideways. Okay, you're not sure if it's bottomed or not. If it broke any of this support, it would have dropped to new lows. But look at the histogram. Okay, the histogram is upticking right here while the stock price is moving sideways. So that is an indicator that Things may be improving soon. All right. Now, right here is actually where the MACD crossed up through the center line. And that happens when the 12 EMA crosses up through the 26 EMA. And as you can see, it's late. Now, my signal comes right here when the MACD crosses up through the signal line. The histogram that already gave early warning crosses up through the center line, okay, and it goes up. Now let's look at another example where the crossovers do happen on time, so they're not always late. What I call this right here is a double crossover, where the MACD the signal line and the histogram are all below zero or the center line and they all turn up and cross at the same time. This is a very bullish buy signal especially with increasing volume like it's doing here. Okay, The buy signal came in the price range of about seven dollars and within just a week a little more it was up at 950. Okay, Now the chart pattern that formed was a bearish double top and when it broke below neckline support it did yield down a little more than it should have should have yielded that distance and so that was just a little more okay so that's your first primary buy signal okay the primary sell signal comes right here when the 12 EMA crosses down through the 26 EMA and the MACD itself crosses down through the center line Okay, but what you've got going on before this is a double top with the second high higher than the first. So your trend line right here looks like this. It's going up. Whereas the tops of your MACD right here are going down. So that's a bearish divergence in that area. I would have sold right here on the double top on the bearish divergence when the MACD crossed back down through the red signal line. At that point the histogram was going negative. As you can see the histogram was already headed really towards negative even as the price was still going up. Another bearish divergence. Okay, So instead of selling right here on the primary signal I would have sold right here on the secondary signal of the MACD turning down through the signal line. Now the stock bottoms forms kind of a lazy double bottom. Here we go again with the histogram upticking well before the stock starts moving up. This is giving you early warning. You also see that the MACD is starting to up, uptick there, which is the beginning of, of an uptrend. And as, as you can see right here, the MACD crosses up through the signal line. The histogram, the blue bars, cross up through the center line or zero and go ahead and set up new high. That is another beautiful double crossover because the MACD and signal line and the histogram were all below the center line and they all crossed up. Did this cross, histo histogram crossed up, and then a day or two later the MACD actually gave the primary buy signal, which came late.
in this case. Okay? So this one isn't as perfect as this previous setup. Now, that's why I always buy when the MACD is below the center line and it does a crossover. 